Hello, today I'll be teaching you how to do the seventh grade worksheet for lesson six. Um, just to go over last week's material, um, the slope formula is y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. So basically what you have to do is you have to use these two points, put them into this equation, and find out what the slope is. So m would equal x2, y2, x1, y1, just labeling the points y2 minus y1 is 2 minus 2, x2 minus x1 is 6 minus 1, and that would be 0 over 5. Now, when a slope is 0, that means that there is no rate of change that occurs in the graph. So, if m was, I don't know, 2, then it would look like this. It would be climbing, because there is a rate of change. But, since there is no rate of change and m is equal to 0, our graph would either look like this or like this. Because there is no slope. There is no change that is occurring in the graph. Okay, moving on. Now, graph the system of inequalities. Well, this is fairly simple. Just treat it like an actual equation. So let's see, x is equal to negative 5. Now you look in your graph for negative 5. Well, you can see it's over here. Now what you have to be careful about is, do you see this? That's a greater than sign. But this is a less than or equal to sign. What's the difference? This one does not, this inequality does not include the number negative 5. So we can't create a straight line. We have to represent it in some way that we know that it doesn't include that number. Well, the way to do it is we create a dotted line. This means that it, it, um, x does not include negative 5, but any value greater than negative 5 will be correct. Now, before we... So... Now, because we know that x is greater than negative 5, we know negative 4 is greater than negative 5, we know that negative 3 is greater than negative 5, and we know that all of this area is going to be greater than negative 5. So, I'll just highlight it in green, and then we can move on. Now, x is less than or equal to 2. So, we find x is equal to 2 on the graph, right here, and now, Look, there is a less than or equal sign. So in this in this problem, x is equal to 2. So the way we represent that is by creating a actual line. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now it says x is less than or equal to. So we have to find all the um, values that are less than or equal to 2. And that would be 1 because 1 is less than or equal to 2. 2 is less than or equal to 2, 0 is less than or equal to 2. So what we have to do is we have to fill out that area going over here. So what does this mean? Well, the system of inequalities is from here to here. Every value in between this in between this line and this line is going to be the solution to this system of inequalities. Moving on. Now, instead of being given a system in, instead of being given a system of inequalities, you're going to be given a graph and you have to derive the system of inequalities from this graph. So this one is fairly simple. Well, you can see that it's this um line is located at y equals 4, right? And we can also see that this point is located at y equals negative 2. But that's not an inequality. That's an equation. So what we have to do is we have to write it out. So observe. You can see that this line is dashed. This line is dashed. So like what I said before, the dashed line means that it's not including the number 
it is on. Basically, four is not going to be part of the inequality because it's not equal to it, but it's going to be greater than because five here is greater than four. Six would be greater than four. Anything above four is the solution to this inequality, not the system of inequalities, but just this inequality. So with that given information, we can write out our actual um, inequality. We know that it should look like y, it should contain y and 4, and we know that it's greater than 4, so we can say y is greater than 4. But is it equal to 4? No, so we can just leave it like that. Moving on, y is negative 2, and we know that it's dotted line, so we know it's not going to include negative 2. But we know, we can see that y is less than negative 2. Because negative 5 would be less than negative 2, correct? So what we can say is y has to be less than negative 2 for this inequality to be true. But in the case for, for the system, so now we've created our system of inequalities. We've created the inequality for this that represents this, and we've created the inequality that represents this. And that will be how you do it. Now, moving on, graph the listed inequalities. Now, even though there's a lot, it's fairly simple, and you just got to take it step by step. So you can see that x is greater than 4. So find 4 in the graph. Well, you see that this is 4. So what you can do is, because it's not equal to 4, you have to create that dotted line. So that will be the first inequality. On the other hand, number two. Well, that starts at that starts at nine. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we know that this is where our second inequality is going to be. Now, we can also see that it's not equal to nine. So what we can do is we can create a dotted line again. And that would be our inequality for two. Now, Going back to number one, x is greater than four. So what are the values that satisfy this equation, this inequality? It would be anything here. Since we know that it's going to be greater than four, we can assume that any value um, from here, here on forward, would be the solution to this inequality. Now we see here that x is less than nine. So anything less than nine will be the solution for inequality number two. And we can do that by graphing it. So this means that any value, any value less than nine will be the solution to this problem, to this inequality for x is less than nine. Now, moving on, we can see that the next inequality is x is less than or equal to two. So we find the point 2, but now because it's equal to, we can actually create a line, a filled in line, not a dotted one, because we're going to include that value 2. Now it says less than 2, so it would be any, um, it would be any value that is less than 2, which is like 1, oops, it would be like 1, 0, negative 1. All those values, that will be a solution to x is less than or equal to 2. Now, if we do that, we fill that in, we know that that would be the value. Now, be careful. This is y now. So we're not going to do it on the x-axis, but we're going to search it on the y-axis. So y is negative 2. We go here, and we know that this point is negative 2. But it has to be greater than negative 2. And, but it doesn't say equal to, so we have to create our dotted line. And when we have created our dotted line, we can f color this in. We know that all of this, all these values, are the solution to this inequality. To this inequality. 
and that would be how you would graph the listed inequalities shown. Um, that's it for today. I hope you have a wonderful day.